What's going on behind the scenes and off the microphone at the Magic Word Podcast? Hear what listeners and guests are saying that isn't on the podcast this week on The Magic Whisper. Hello, this is Scott Wells. Welcome to another episode of The Magic Whisper. I had mentioned last week in the opening episode as to what direction I was kind of wanting to go. And one of the things I was suggesting was for people to send me ideas for guests that they would like to see me uh, talk with. And I was starting to get a lot of uh, really great suggestions. And I'm going to read a couple here in just a moment. But I was thinking I, it's, it's great. And I appreciate the, uh, the ideas that you're giving me. But I've already got some other ideas and people and I really can't get around to everybody. Uh, but you could still suggest some people and I'll try to get to who I can. But uh, as far as that direction goes of uh, so be soliciting suggestions for upcoming episodes or guests you'd like to see. I'd rather really kind of uh, turn that around and have you give me some ideas of some things that you've heard in club meetings or perhaps some uh, things you'd like to hear discussed briefly of whether it has to do with the uh, future of conventions. We had something talking about magic exposure that was on the Magic Word recently uh, that's certainly topical. There may be other directions uh, that we can go that has to do with how to improve your club meetings and things like that. And so if you've got some ideas or suggestions of some topics, perhaps, that we might like to discuss in a brief time, I and uh, send me some of those ideas. I'd appreciate that then, too. Uh, speaking of some suggestions, I do want to read a couple that I had received. One was from Mike Morian, uh, 168, who said, thanks for all you do, Scott. I found the podcast three years ago and have listened to a great deal of the past episodes. Thank you very much, Mike. I appreciate then, uh, that also. Uh, cool Magic Guy says, please interview Leon Etienne who uh, with Magic Rocks. If you can, he's awesome and has a great backstory. I have spoken with him briefly, uh, but I think I'm going to try to get together with him. That's a great suggestion. Uh, cool Magic Guy goes on to say, I'm 34, if that helps your demographic numbers. He said, um, I listen to the podcast on the way to and from work every day. So that's great. I kind of like to have an idea where it is that you listen to the podcast and how it was you happened to find the podcast. I uh, wrote back and forth then to Mike Morian, 168, and he had said that he was listening on Google Play and then they had transferred him over to uh, YouTube. And so he found it through YouTube when he was doing a search. And then finally, I had received something from Magic Mike 922 and he said, I think Dave Cressy would be a really interesting guest on the podcast. And I agree that he would be uh, fantastic then as well. Well, we got to, as far as some news goes, uh, a lot of things are happening. I should have mentioned last week, well, I was just kind of telling you about what the direction is of the convention of this uh, the Magic Whisper, but uh, we happen to ha have lost someone who was a major person in our uh, world, and that is William Rauscher. And he was the one who had written uh, the book on John Calvert, the uh, biography. This is Magic and Adventures Around the World. One of my favorite books. I tell you, each chapter reads like a movie. It is great. And I am thankful that I uh, happen to have had this, uh, uh, my copy that has been signed by both uh, John and by by Bill Rauscher. And uh, I even had some pictures one of uh, his, um, of uh John Calvert's ship, that is his his yacht that was called the Magic Castle. And this was uh, taken when he was uh, docked down in uh, Corpus Christi during a magic invention uh, some years ago. Anyhow, that uh, is to tell you a little bit about, uh, uh, but Bill Rauscher was an Episcopal uh, minister. Uh, and so it's uh, he died at the age of 91. Uh, and he was uh, on July the 3rd and has written several books. He um, studied the intersection between religion and parapsychology. A uh, very interesting man, and uh, we'll mourn his loss. So a few uh, other things that are coming up as far as uh, in the news, we've got some conventions that are coming up right now. We just uh, completed the IBM convention, which was in Tacoma, Washington. I haven't sp spoken with anybody yet about the convention. Uh, if you got something that you want to jot down and send me an email, perhaps, of uh, telling me your impressions, that'd be great. I'd like to uh, hear what you had to say if you attended that convention. Uh, a couple of other ones that are coming up on July 23rd through 25th. That's going to be the Magisch Sternfart in uh, Salbach, Austria. Uh, another one, July 23rd through 26th, is FISM Europa Congress. Europa Congress, okay? <laughs> I can't pronounce that. In St. Vincent, Turin, uh, Italy. 
July the 28th through August the 1st is the Fellowship of Christian Magicians International Convention in Duncanville, Indiana. And then uh, July 31st through August the 3rd will be Abbott's Get Together in Colon, Michigan. I will be attending that uh, and be giving you some daily updates from there on the Magic Word podcast. And then, of course, I'll be going from there to Las Vegas because August the 4th through the 7th will be Magic Live in Las Vegas there at the Orleans Hotel. So there's a few things that are coming up. We'll be talking about some other conventions in the future that will be uh, uh, coming that as well. Speaking of coming up, uh, I've got Cody Clark, who is on the spectrum of autism, and he's a full-time professional magician. And he's going to be my guest this week on The Magic Word. And I will play you just a quick clip from our conversation then right now. Well, I am thankful to be headquartered in Louisville, Kentucky, where I'm born and raised for many reasons, including the big magic legacy one of the best SAM slash IBM ring slash assemblies in the whole world, not just the country. And Louisville is central to both the Midwest, so I can get as far up as Chicago and the South. I can get down as far as Atlanta. Summer, it tends to be libraries, uh, but during the school year, I do school assemblies. I do colleges via the APCA circuit and a lot of your disability advocacy conferences adult daycares, uh, therapy centers. I would say in short, education is my niche, but it's been a good niche because education is so multifaceted that there's always a new, uh, a new lane to go down. I think this is going to be an inspirational conversation and you will enjoy hearing what Cody has to say. So come back later this week and listen to the magic word podcast.com episode number 840. Three, I believe it is. <laughs> and then also I want to uh, suggest that if you would uh, send me a photo, if you've got a picture uh, that you can take, like of making this uh, image, kind of holding your lips, mouth to your lips like this, uh, I can post this so I can have one kind of like this. We have then with, um, with Gwen Auger, who... <laughs> and sent this one to me. Thank you, Gwen. That looks fantastic. Uh, also, as I said, if you would just uh, leave your comments, uh, I would appreciate that. If there's some way that you can yeah, give me a five-star review on whatever podcast uh, platform that you use to listen to podcasts, that'd be great. And also some positive comments would be good then as well. And as I mentioned, you could use SpeakPipe to leave a voice message, and then I could uh, post that over here and let people hear your voice uh, here on the Magic Whisper. So again, uh, the direction and I still kind of like to go. I'd like to some suggestions on where you think I should take this. This is going to be something topical and a little bit different uh, on, than what we do on the Magic Word podcast. So uh, I want this to be things that people talk about when we're on the phone. I speak with magicians all week long, and uh, also I have different people who are going out on lectures. I book a lot of lecture tours. Uh, currently, I'm working with Ari Phillips, who I will next week uh, tell you about. Uh, uh, he's from England and uh, has uh, Grum uh, Leather craft and he's going to be a dealer at uh, some of the conventions that are coming up then uh, soon and so i'll give you his tour schedule and then following that is going to be losander who's going to be lecturing across the country and i'll give you his uh, lecture tour schedule then coming up too so if you would like to uh, see either one of those and you haven't heard yet from your club whether or not that you're going to be hosting them drop me a note and i will be glad to try to see if i can get your club to uh, host one of those lectures that as well well i think that's all we can probably uh, post here for this week and I thank you very much for coming back here for the second episode of the Magic Whisper. So until next week. Share the whisper with other magicians and join us next time on The Magic Whisper. The Magic Whisper is a division of the magicwordpodcast.com.